All indications are the farm economy is going to continue to be strong through 21 and perhaps you know for years to come. So the ag equipment sales markets typically go hand in glove with the ag economy. But could that strength in ag equipment sales also lead to a similar boom in sustainable, more environmentally friendly agriculture overall? One of the things that we certainly find is that fuel efficiency does become a deciding factor. And when we're talking about you know, recent spikes in fuel costs and diesel costs, uh, that makes a real difference. If you've got a tractor engine or a combine engine that's 20% more efficient than the previous model, that's real dollars at the end of the day when you consider how long those are driven. The reduction in fuel costs isn't the only benefit, however. According to a study on precision agriculture conducted by the Association of Equipment Manufacturers, the American Soybean Association, CropLife America, and the National Corn Growers Association, the environmental benefit of precision agriculture technology fuel efficiencies is similar to taking 200,000 cars off the road every year. However, just saving fuel isn't everything. The pieces of equipment that farmers uh, we're hearing are most they're most excited about is anything that has to do with variable rate technology. Variable rate meaning adjusting the seed, adjusting the application of crop protection chemicals, or anything that can be done at the uh, at the, uh, the the sub field level uh, to to really uh, uh, take advantage of that technology. Those are the pieces of uh, pieces of technology that farmers are pining for, and certainly making their investments in right now. It's that variable rate technology that is the real smart party trick in the pantheon of precision ag technologies. According to the study, variable rate technologies have seen their adoption rate increase from approximately 10% of the market in 2002 to 41% in 2020. What the technology allows a farmer to do is adjust everything from how deep a seed is planted to how much fertilizer or other chemicals are applied, in some cases to a nearly plant-by-plant -plant basis. By combining variable rate technology with auto guidance technology which allows machines to drive themselves and go exactly where they need to go down to the inch, and section control technologies which prevent planters and spreaders and sprayers from wasting seed and chemicals on spots where they've already been applied, they have already reduced pesticide applications by 30 million pounds per year. That's the equivalent of more than four Saturn V rockets. And the increased yields from the technologies have saved us from needing to cultivate more than 10 million additional acres of cropland. That's more than two states of Massachusetts. And the more farmers are able to invest in new equipment, the faster the economic and environmental savings add up. You know, part of the story of the new purchases of equipment have to do with the, with the age of the equipment that it's replacing. Some of it has to do with uh, uh, you know, wanting to, to you know, take advantage of, of financing situations or, or, or economic situations. But absolutely part of that story is farmers wanting to take advantage of new technology. And new technology in planting, new technology in, in harvesting, and new technologies in tractors in general are absolutely taking uh, are, are part of the story and that is driving a whole lot of sales right now. The biggest opportunity with the most immediate need right now, however, may be in precision irrigation control. The western United States is currently facing the worst drought it has experienced in more than 1,200 years, according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. The current combination of variable rate precision irrigation technology and soil moisture sensors is already saving the equivalent of 750,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools of irrigation of water per year. However, with full adoption, we can increase our water savings an additional 21%, or nearly the equivalent of Cayuga Lake, the second largest of the Finger Lakes in upstate New York. But to get there, we're going to need additional bandwidth. One of the issues that is, uh, that is dramatically affecting the adoption of precision agriculture and certainly uh, precision agriculture living up to its full potential is the availability of rural broadband. In many areas of the nation today, as we've been pointed out over the last uh, year, are simply do not have access to reliable high-speed internet. And that is especially pronounced in rural areas. So for precision agriculture to really live up to its full potential, it needs to be able to, to access the internet on a, on a real-time basis. The current farm equipment sales boom looks like it could be the sort of help the environment needs to keep feeding everyone sustainably, especially as the age of the ag equipment fleet has been rising steadily over the past several years due to uncertainty in the ag market. What we have been seeing 
the, uh, the average age of equipment kind of creep up there just a little bit. Some of that has to do with over the last five years where we've had some uncertainty in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, the ag economy in general. And so most of the tractor sales that have been happening have been happening as a result of the replacement market. To learn more or to read the full study for yourself, visit AEM.org or see the link down below in the description.